So, just another quick video about how you can get edited tags back into Virtual DJ if the editing has been done outside of Virtual DJ. Well, first of all, you need to look a little bit at the settings. So if I go into the options here and I search for tag, see there's a lot of settings for tags. And it's of course important that you have get tags auto set so that tags are actually read. And um, also maybe some of the other ones, get title from tags, get rating from tags, get comment from tags, get cues from tags, if we will change that somewhere else. Uh, so enable the ones you think you need. In this example, I'm going to use the comment one. So get comment from text need to be enabled. And it already is. Uh, so that's fine. And of course, get text also is also fine. So that's very nice. But what happens then if I change this, this value that's currently dummy for the track and fire, if I change that outside of Visual DJ. So I go into another program here. And here's and fire. And I open that tag editor. And then I change dummy to dummy two. Save it and go back to Visual DJ. Well, nothing happens. Well, that's probably logical because it hasn't changed page or search or whatever. So let me just go into something else and then back. But it still doesn't change. Okay, why is that? Well, that's actually because this is only read the first time the track is read into the database. Okay, what happens then if I uh, if I take it out of the database, remove from search to be, and add it back in. Does that change anything? No. Go out of the folder and back into the folder. No, no change. Okay, what about the analyze then? I analyze the tracks again, the track again, like that. No. Change folder. No. What can you do then? Well, you actually have to go into the, uh, the tag editor of the track, go to the comment field down here, and it says, it says dummy. That's the current thing that Virtual DJ has. But then it has something down here that says tag, dummy2. That's what the file has. So you actually need to click this little uh, arrow below here to get the, current, the new value. And then you can either write it back to the tag, so it's actually in the file, or you can just say, OK. I'm going to write it to the tag and then say OK. So now, of course, I have dummy2. But that's a bit of work. Is there anything else we can do? Because this may be a lot of ones, and I don't really know which ones are changed. Well, you can. Let me first go back to the other one. So I've changed it once again, so we get a new value. So I go into and fire. Again, now it's dummy2. But then I did change it to dummy3, like that. and I. Uh, and I go back to Virtual DJ, like this. So now we're back. And of course, that didn't change anything. Um, but we, if we go into the tag editor, we can now see that in the file, it's dummy3. So how do I then get it if I don't want to do that for all files? Well, that's actually a batch feature. So I mark everything. That's one example you can do. That's what I do here. I mark all the tracks in this folder, for instance. And then I right click. And then I go into batch, and then there's a feature called reload tags. So that's probably the way you want to do it. If you've changed a lot of, uh, of tags, if you're killing up your tags somewhere else, um, that's probably how you want to get the new values into Virtual DJ, by batch reload tags. So let me do that. And then not a lot happens. And that has something to do with the updating of now it came when I move the mouse close to it. What also happens is all sorts of other stuff that I didn't know about comes in here. So if I move up to the files, you can see, oh, that had another comment. That had another comment. This one actually turned yellow. So you can see it has actually been grabbing all this stuff from the tags so that I didn't even know were there for some of the other files. Of course, that will also show if you go back and forth between folders here. So uh, I got my dummy three. And I got some other stuff that I didn't even know had been changed. So that's interesting. But that is probably the way you want to do it if you want to update tech information based on some cleanup that's been done elsewhere outside of Virtual Today.